Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and if you're watching this video, that means that Samsung has officially launched Samsung One UI 7 on April 7th. Now it is launching in some countries first on either the 7th, the 10th, the 14th, and that goes for the Galaxy S24 series, the Flip 6, and the Fold 6, and then the rest of the devices come after that. So in celebration of this, I want to share with you the top 7 customizations that you're able to do on Samsung One UI 7. The first customization I want to talk about is the notifications panel and quick settings. So in Samsung One UI 7, you can either have these things together or separate. And pretty much if they're separate, you swipe back and forth to go between the two. Now, how you can change this is this little edit button on the very top, and then you go to panel settings. This is where you can choose together if you want it the old way, where if you swipe down, that's your notifications and some quick settings. And you swipe it down one more time, that's all of the quick settings. Or you can keep it as separate, however way you want it to go. Next up, you also have all these areas right here where all you have to do is pretty much press and hold, and then you're able to choose the order of how you want these to look. Now, you will notice that mine will look a little different than some of the others, and that's because I have more quick settings right here. So out of the box, if you were to get Samsung One UI 7, if you pull this thing down and you swipe on over, you're only going to have it basically four by three. So it's only showing 12, and this is what it looks like out of the box of Samsung One UI 7. So what I did here for my customization of Samsung One UI 7 is that I made it to where the, the space between all these icons are narrow. So how you're able to get this done is you want to go inside of GoodLock. And the good thing with Samsung One UI 7 is that GoodLock is everywhere. It is not region locked anymore. So how you're able to customize this is you want to go right here to QuickStar. So once you install QuickStar, basically you have it downloaded out of all of these little modules, down over here, you have this option right there, which is change quick settings button grid. Now, originally it's probably somewhere right around here. So if I was to pull this on down, you can see again, four by three. Now, if you make the space in between them all narrow, now you can fit much more. Now for me, I do know what these icons mean. If I don't know, I swipe down one little time in this little box right here, and then it's able to give me the name of that little icon. So this is how mine is all set up, is with that, that quick star uh, module inside of GoodLock. And then I opened up the spot here to make it super narrow. Then what I did, as you noticed on the very top, I was able to swipe down and pretty much if you move this around, you can choose where you want your quick settings or notifications to be so you can change the ratio. So I can put it like right here. And basically what that means, if I swipe down over here, that's my notifications. And if I swipe down over here, that is gonna be my quick settings. So you can change the ratio and you can also make the space between those icons narrow. So then this way you'd be able to have yours look just like this. Customization number two, let's take a look at the lock screen. So there is a little bit more going on with this screen here because this right here is dealing with lock star. And this one is from Clockface, And those are two modules that is a part of GoodLock. But let me just show you some of the bare minimum stuff here that is just a part of Samsung One UI 7. You go to your lock screen. You pretty much go anywhere that is empty. You press and hold. That means that you want to change your lock screen. And then you just do your little fingerprint to get this thing unlocked for you to make your little customizations. Now, I do have Lockstar. And what I did here with Lockstar was I just added in some of these favorite icons or applications. I pretty much tap on those. I unlock my phone and it goes directly to it. Now in Samsung One UI 7, you have a lot more options on the very bottom. You can have like no app, you can have sound, flashlight, airplane mode, power saving, dark mode, do not disturb, location, Dolby Atmos, scan QR code, and all of the other applications that are on your phone. So it's not just little quick shortcut type things. They added in a bunch of actions. So there's more that you can do here in Samsung One UI 7. Pretty much you just tap on these icons here, you change it to what you want it to, and that's how you customize that. Now, the other thing that you have is your clock. So this one was actually brought in from Clockface, which again is still a part of GoodLock, which is 100% open to every single country with Samsung One UI 7. Pretty much this is where you can change the style. Uh, you're also able to you know, change the color, pretty much whatever you want to do. All of these little icons right here, this is because these are all from Clockface. Now, the ones that are over here are the ones that are from stock. So these are the ones that you can do right out of the gate. Once you get your phone out of the box, you choose your style, you choose where you want it to go, you choose how big you want it to go, and then you also change the, the, the font and the color of the time. So this is where you're able to change everything. So that is how you're able to customize your lock screen, but also we have widgets. And underneath your clock, you can pretty much just tap there. And when you first go to it for the first time, it'll say like widgets. 
and you can actually place in four of them. And you can see that this is one, one, and this one right here takes up two slots. So I could actually have four total, but I'm using three. I'm using one of these for battery. And then there's a few more additional ones down here that I did with weather that I kind of think is pretty cool. You know, the moon phase. And then I also did the current temperature and weather. So that's the ones that I chose. You could choose any of these that you want to. You can even have one that's even a little bit larger if you want as well. So this is all that you're able to do with your lock screen. Now, if you do download Lockstar and Clockface, that just unlocks more of what you can do with your lock screen. When you have everything all in place, you hit on done. And this right here is your lock screen. And again, as I mentioned from before, I'd be able to pretty much tap on an icon, unlock my phone, and then it goes directly over into YouTube or whatever application I touched. So I just mentioned GoodLock, and if you're not familiar with it, GoodLock is right here. It's this little application. It's an application that's made by Samsung for Samsung, and it has all of these modules inside of there. So a few things we talked about was Lockstar. We talked about clock face. We also talked about quick star and we might even talk about a few additional ones as well. I mean, sound assistant is a major one. So is the camera assistant. This is also major. I'll probably cover that in a future video since more people will have more access to good lock because originally this one was region locked and you're able to download good lock from the galaxy store. And I believe you can even get it from the play store as well. Once you get Samsung one UI seven, but I'm going to state the galaxy store immediately just because I know for a fact it's going to be sitting there. Now the next customization you might want to play with is now bar or the now brief and pretty much now bar and now brief and live notifications from sports and all that stuff. That is something that's new in Samsung one UI seven. Now, as you scroll on down, all you would have to do is you want to find your lock screen and always on display. Now inside of lock screen and always on display, you'll have now bar right here. So this is where you can go through and you can turn on or off what you want to show up in your now bar, which is pretty much what will show on your lock screen on the very bottom. Also, when you have live notifications, they will show up on the very top of your phone. And then you're also able to tap it to expand it. So for example, right now, actually, let me show you this one in the lock screen. So right now there is a game. So we have uh, the Royals and the Orioles playing a game. And you can also see the live notification on the very top. So when I tap on this one, then this is where you can see the score and you can see just a little bit more. Also, the next time you touch the phone, it's just going to kind of go, go a little bit smaller, go right back up. So it's just a way that you can always watch the game and see where it is, what the score is, where it's at within the game. Uh, now, if you were on your lock screen, which is right here, you can tap on this one. And again, it'll make it a little bit larger. Tap it again. That's pretty much just going to take you over to the game, you know, from... Uh, Google. So what you want to do is kind of set this up. So this right here is the now bar and the now brief and everything that we talked about. So again, like I said, it's inside of your lock screen settings. This is where you go down over here and you can turn these things on. There will be an option for music, um, probably with the official launch. But right here is the sports from Google. You tap on it. And then from here, you just go to sports from Google settings. And then from here, this is where you just put in your teams. So these are the two that I'm following. I'm from Kansas City. So Royals and the Chiefs. Here's your recommended. So you can go through any of these in any fashion you want to. Uh, you hit your little down arrow and then you have all your teams that you can throw in there. So this way, when you're done, you just hit on finish and that is it. The next time that there is a game or a sport or whatever that you chose, it will actually just show up on your phone. And again, it's just right over here. It's on the very top as a live notification. And with the hopefully with this brand new version that'll be coming out with all of these devices, you'll have the exact same live notification with music. So this way you wouldn't have to have a mu music widget on your home screen. It'll just be on the very top, just like that is there for you to hit play, pause, and back and forth when it comes down to previous song or the next song. Customization number four would have to be the larger folders as well as the widgets. Now there's a bunch more widgets and better widgets on Samsung One UI 7 versus six and the larger folders just makes things so much easier to use. So for example, if you create a folder, you would have to tap on the folder and then tap on the application you want to get into. Now, if you have a larger folder like I do here, pretty much you just tap on an icon and boom, you are in immediately. So if you have all these applications that you use every day, create a folder. Now, if you don't know how to create a folder, you just grab your applications and you place one on top of the other and then you put in your name. So for this one, I can just say, I don't know, I'm just gonna put in the word pay. Then once you put in your little title, then you can actually change the color. This is where you can choose any color in the rainbow and you can make it something like this. 
And then now what's going to happen is now you have your folder and then you can bring in applications this way, or you can tap on it and then you hit on the plus and then you can search for applications or go through it manually. And once you have tapped all of them, you hit on done. So then all of those will add into this folder right here. So I'm going to move this right over here, press and hold and large. And that is it. That is all you would have to do when it comes down to creating folders and making them big or small. Now, next up, we have to talk about the widgets. So when you press and hold anywhere that is empty on your screen, you go to widgets. And this is where you can scroll through and you can add in your now brief. You can add in a bunch of these that is in uh, from battery. So they're already created two by one, four by one, two by two, four by two. You have all of these different options inside of here. And there's a ton, you know, versus what it used to be from before. You have countdowns, you have your month calendar stuff. You have the today stuff, you have upcoming, uh, you have one for a few of them for your camera. It used to be where there's only like one, but now there's like three. So as you scroll through all of them, you can see that there is just a ton of different options. And it also will create some from the applications that you download. So if you download any of these, you'll have more. But if you take a look at a Samsung application on here, then you'll be able to notice that there is a bunch more options than normal. So here is the Samsung internet. You have a few of these here for bookmarks and search. So widgets have gotten really cool. Uh, you can pretty much arrange them almost however you want to on your phone. So this right here just works for me. And I have this one as a four by one because this is my phone, my watch. And then if I'm connected to my earbuds, it'll let me know what my left and my right is. Customization number five, it's really easy in Samsung One UI 7 to customize your Google search bar. You can see that I might have different icons than what you have, and my color is a little different. That's where you press and hold on it, and you hit on settings, and this is where you can change everything. You have your system, the light, the dark, the device. This is where I've customized it. I changed my colors, my saturation, the transparency. I also added in a shortcut, and if you don't want to have a shortcut, you can just hit on done, and then you're able to go right on back, and once you get out of that whole customization, it'll be gone. So if you are somebody who watches a bunch of uh, sports or finances or whatever, you'd be able to press and hold, go to settings, and you can change however you want it to look. And you can go inside of your shortcuts. You have translate. Uh, you also have song search, the weather, translate there again for either text or camera. Here's your sports, dictionary, homework, and finance. So I'm going to do this one right here. Hit on back, hit on back, and that's it. And that's how you're able to easily customize your Google search bar on Samsung One UI 7. Customization number six, let's talk about wallpaper and also color palette. So how you're able to customize all of these things, you can press and hold anywhere that is empty and you go to wallpaper and style. But let me show you what my color palette looks like. I got some teals, some blues. Uh, you can see a lot of differences. If you open up your phone application, if you open up the calculator, you can see all the different colors inside of there as well too. So pretty much what I did was I generated this one by AI. So I put in some prompts and it created my own little wallpaper for me. So again, you press anywhere that's empty, you go to wallpaper and style. And then this right here is where you can change your wallpapers. Now I'll tell you this, once you change your wallpaper, then go to your color palette. The reason being is because when you go to color palette, it's going to be based off of the wallpaper that you have. So there was some darks and some purples and stuff. So they pretty much created some of these that I'd be able to choose. And this is the one that I did right over here. You just tap on it and then you hit, you hit on apply. You just have to make sure you turn on your color palette and up here, it'll show you what it'll look like with color palette. So we talked about that, but you do want to change your wallpaper first. So when it comes down to wallpaper, you can have all those featured ones. You can go through your gallery. You have create with AI, so you have generative, you have photo ambient, you have graphical ones, so you can choose some of these. You choose one that's just you know a bunch of different colors. Here's your dynamic lock screen that will change all the time, your Samsung global goals down there. So if you wanna do generative, which is what I did here, uh, you can just choose what you want it to kind of start off as. So you have night, you have terrain, translucent, you have night, scrolling over here, luminous, mineral, and you have a bunch of them down over here too. It's pretty much the, almost the same that's up there, but it's just listed differently. So if you want to create one, you just tap on any of the categories. And then through here, you can change what you want it to do. So if you want it to be, you know, leaves, and then maybe the color of uh, blue. And as you do this, then what's gonna happen is when you generate them and you scroll through to find the one that you want and you can zoom in and zoom out, then when you do your color palette, it'll kind of be based off of this. So if you're kind of digging this one, you know, right here, you can choose it for your home screen or lock screen. So if there's any of these that you like, if you tap on this one, uh, I'm just gonna go and hit on next for it because I can actually just go back to my other one. And this is where, let's see here. Ooh, oh, you can actually swipe through them right here. Okay, I forgot about that. When you're actually taking a look at your lock screen in this portion right here, you can actually take a look at what it looks like on the lock screen and you can switch it over and you can see on your home screen. 
So it just you can choose which one you think you know kind of looks the best, um, and then you can just hit on done. So this is now what it looks like with the lock screen as well as the home screen. Again, if you just want to have a whole entire page where you just want to like take a look at it, you can just do that. You can just press and hold and you can add in a page. But this is what it looks like for the home screens and as well as the lock screen. Now, here's the thing. Again, once you change your wallpaper, this is where you press and hold. You go right back inside of your wallpaper and style. This is where you go to color palette. And then now you can see that there is a bunch of different options from before. Beforehand, I only had two pages of colors for me to go off of and now it's showing me four pages. Again, they base it off of whatever your wallpaper is and have something that kind of has a good balance or that will kind of mesh in really good when it comes down to how you want your other applications to look and also your quick settings. Now, closing out this video with customization number seven, let's talk about your keyboard because this is very important and this is something that you interact with every single day with almost every single application. First off, you have your Galaxy AI. So this gives you all of your AI features. Here's your emojis, your clipboard. This is text extract, which this one's important. I'll show you here in just a second. And then your settings. Now over here, you can open this up and you can move all of these around just by swiping them. And again, if you want them to be in a different order, you can change whatever order you want them to be in. Now, because I use Galaxy AI a lot, my emojis is right there. I just, you know, can simply go into, into it really quick. This is the one I want to show you, which is the text extract. So if you ever want to send instructions or directions to do something or a very, very complex, you know, um, alphanumeric, you know, sentence or whatever for like a password, and you don't want to accidentally tap it all out and then you, you typed something wrong, all you'd have to do is if you have your instructions or if you wrote it down or you just have whatever, you're able to use your camera, then the camera will actually pick it up. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna to go to extract text. Now, once you take a picture of what you would like to share with somebody, uh, now that this is up there, you hit on paste, and then this is where you can delete a few things if you don't need it to be there. So I'm gonna move this down, and then as you look through this, everything is perfect. There's not one mishap when it comes down to taking anything from the camera into this text. And so now I have all of this written out and it just took me a couple seconds. I wouldn't have to go through there and tap it all out the whole entire time. So the text extract is super awesome. You hit send and it's done. So if you have like a whole Christmas list, or again, I mean, there's so many different options of what you're able to do. You can also just take a, an image of like your credit card number or a business card. Like we got like, you know, a business card here. We got instructions here, pretty much whatever you need to extract from something. If you don't want to tap it all out the whole time, you just be able to take a picture. It does it for you. And then it puts it into text. So you can really do that with any application. I just showed it to you inside of uh, messages right there. So that is everything I wanted to cover in today's video, which is basically the customizations of Samsung One UI 7. Actually, the video from just the other day was talking about get ready for Samsung One UI 7. And then I showed off 10 awesome features that's a part of Samsung One UI 7. I also have past videos that shows every brand new feature of Samsung One UI 7. But for the kickoff of One UI 7 going uh, kind of globally, starting off with, again, April 7th, other countries get to April 10th. Uh, other countries get it April 14th. I wanted to start off here with customizations. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe at the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.